We are living in exciting times. Intelligent technology has become a familiar part of our day-to-day -day life. It has made many facets of our lives easier and more pleasant. At the same time, there is also a return to nature. A growing number of parks and green areas are being created to compensate for the noise of the bustling city. As a result, our cities are becoming greener and greener. At Flora Robotica, we are working precisely at the intersection of these two developments. Flora Robotica is an adventure. It's a very good example of, of basic research. We want to put robots and plants together and make them collaborate in equal roles. And then we want to see what kind of benefits do we get out of this relationship. So this is quite different to paradigms where humans are using plants and trying to steer them only to their own ends. And here we're trying to really understand the plant as a, as a deeply sensitive organism. For plants and technology to coexist equally, they must undergo a symbiosis. This is an extremely challenging task, but if it succeeds, it would be revolutionary. The vision is almost science fiction, so, so how can you put plants and robots together and then coming from, from that vision and down to something we need to do today. The basic fact in symbiosis is that you have two species that do not compete, they help each other, they cooperate. And for this you have to find things that the one species can do very well, while the other has some problems with this. Plants, for example, they are rather slow and uh, they do not have a nervous system, they do not have a brain. But computation, calculating and fast direction is something that robots can do. And so if we add that to the system, this can support the plant. The way to make this symbiosis work, at least the way we think about it now, is that we're able to measure how the plant is doing in some way. So right now it seems like we can measure how fast it grows, how much water it evaporates and so on. And that could influence us to say, okay, so the plant is not doing so well, we need the robot part to help the, the plant in some sense. And then on the same time, we, we want to build a, a robot system that's compatible uh, with the plant system. And we're trying to understand how to, to build these two systems together. Flora Robotica has great ambitions. To fulfill them, an EU-wide interdisciplinary research project has been put together. We are an international project. We have six partners in six different disciplines in four countries in five cities. We have plant biologists in Poznan, evolutionary roboticists in Copenhagen, architects working with information technology also in Copenhagen. We have swarm intelligence computer scientists in Paderborn, artificial life zoologists in Graz, and we have those working on mechatronics in Stuttgart. And what's in, important to understand is that together we have all the, the knowledge we need to, to do this project, but individually uh, we only know a little of the picture. We are a group of mechanical engineers, computer scientists, biologists and architects, and they use totally different languages and totally different approaches. So we can talk a lot to each other, but that doesn't mean that we always understand each other. We had to learn this. But we enable a lot of dialogue by um, embedding ourselves in each other's lab environments so that we can be uh, ensuring good integration between our ideas. Research has been ongoing for a year now and there are still many questions to answer. However, numerous possible areas of application can now be identified. Florobotica is a basic research project, so when you talk about applications, uh, it can go anywhere from very limited to changing our society. On a very short time scale, I see that this is a beautiful thing that we are going to generate, so it will be appealing from an architectural point of view. So maybe people would like to have that in their living rooms, they enjoy it, they have a plant that can connect to the internet for some reason, for example, and that's just cool. In the future, we may be able to construct from collaborative people, robots and plants, architecture that is self-repairing, self-growing, can adapt to changing needs. So we end up with an architecture that is highly dynamic, uh, that is very much in tune with its environment, and that can be interpreted and used in many different ways. In the 
very far distant future, I see that we will colonize Mars with species like that, where robots help plants to colonize this planet and give it a new atmosphere, for example. There are many, many other end goals depending on which part of the research that are successful and which parts uh, fail. But I think there are clear many, many visions for the project. The coming years will decide which of these visions will become a reality. But it is now self-evident that Flora Robotica could change our cities and how we deal with nature and technology forever.